Hi guys, Alexander here and today we're going to take a look at 2022 edition of the DHI-FI TC35i Mobile Lightning Deck. Hey, I'm Alexander and this channel is dedicated to honest and comprehensive reviews of headphones, IAMs, decks, amps and microphones. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click the notification bell. This unit was sent to me by DD Hi-Fi directly in exchange for my honest review, thank you. I'm not paid to say anything in particular about this product and all thoughts and opinions in today's episode are my own. DD Hi Fi was established in 2017 and they started with adapters and decks, and recently they have also added IEMs to their portfolio. The main mission of the company is to make a good products and affordable price, and DD Hi Fi has gained some fame recently. TC35i 2022 edition is featuring an updated form factor, sturdy build, lightning connectivity, and it currently retails for 50 US dollars. The unit is shipped in a small cardboard box and inside the box we have TC35i deck and a manual. Out of the box, this unit definitely feels like an upgrade to Apple's standard lighting dongle. The deck is stylish, sturdy and quite small. Wherever you touch it, it's just a thick, solid metal. No gaps and no loose parts here. The unit is very compact and power efficient and compared to other dongles it has also a huge advantage because it doesn't have a cable which can be broken or damaged by pulling or folding. In the pictures the dongle looks pretty small, but in reality it's tiny and this is a great plus. Also compared to many other mobile decks it's incredibly light. Gold colored face plate is a nice addition and it states the manufacturer name and the model number. Now let's talk about technical specifications. The dongle is suitable for all devices with lightning port and supports iOS 10 or higher on iPhone, iPod Touch and iPad. At the heart of the unit you'll find the Apple C101 chip. It supports PCM decoding up to 48 kHz at 24 bits, but it doesn't support DSD or MQA. Output power is 16 milliwatts at 30 ohms. Dimensions, excluding the plug, are 18 by 17 by 9.8 millimeters, and the unit weighs 3.7 grams. TC35i is very simple to use. You just plug it into your phone, connect your headphones, and you are good to go. There were no issues with my iPhone 7, and I was pleasantly surprised to see how well it worked in iOS. The connection is quite reliable, and I also didn't find the TC35i to pick up EMI interference, which is always a concern with external amplifiers or decks connected to smartphones. The metal shell is doing a great job here, and in general, TC35 i also provides a very usable volume range talking about sound performance the unit has a linear frequency response meaning that there's no intentional coloration and it sounds pretty balanced i also didn't notice any channel imbalance which is good for the testing i have used a few of my iems and i'll be mainly comparing this deck to a standard apple's dongle the low end is balanced and there was no notable emphasis or coloration of low frequencies. Compared to Apple's dongle, the sense of sub-bass extension is improved and bass notes have a little bit more weight. That said, the changes are small but still noticeable. Do not take this as the standard Apple dongle is lean, but you will definitely hear the difference when you switch between them. Overall, TC35i is doing quite a good job in regards to low frequencies. The mids sound linear and I didn't hear any difference between this unit and the standard Apple dongle. Vocals are quite powerful and sound full. Positioning is accurate and timbre is quite good as well. TC35i has quite a natural voicing with a good definition and it's nicely balanced and tonally transparent. Changes in treble were the first obvious thing that I noticed during the testing. Treble is a bit moved forward, but it's still well bodied and detailed and in my opinion it's superior to the treble on standard Apple dongle. 
instrument sound accurate and have impressive amounts of texture. TC35i also surprised me with the amount of fine details and its resolution and overall treble here is quite balanced and it offers nice sparkle and a good detailed retrieval. The sound stage is good. I didn't notice any changes compared to the standard dongle, imaging and positioning is accurate as well and also quite directional. Separation of instruments improved compared to the standard Apple dongle and you will especially notice it when you use this deck with flag or high res files. I will remind you that I mostly did all my testings with IEMs, but out of curiosity I also did some tests with three full-size cans. I picked Bayer Dynamic DT990 250 ohms, Sennheiser HD 6XX and Haifaman HE 400 SE. In my case the deck was able to drive to comfort level of volume only my Hi-Fi-Man HE 400 SE, but the bass was pretty weak and the soundstage suffered as well. In case with DT990 and HD6XX the unit was unable to drive them to my comfort level of volume as well as both pairs sounded pretty dull. Anyway, this is not surprising because this deck is not intended to drive a power hungry cans and this unit should be viewed as a perfect alternative to Apple's standard dongle and it should be used with the sensitive full size headphones and IEMs. Talking about pros, well, the unit has a nice design, great build quality and form factor, low noise floor, good EMI resistance and a very balanced sound. Talking about cons, no support for files beyond 48 kHz at 24 bits, this limitation is actually because of the chip this deck is using and also a very small but hardly noticeable hiss when you're using this deck with very sensitive IAMs. Let's summarize. The DD Hi-Fi's TC35i is a nice compact deck that sounds good and has a good build quality. It won't replace your Dragonfly or other audiophile decks, but if you are looking for a quality replacement of your standard Apple's dongle, DD Hi-Fi's TC35i is a good way to go. Especially if you enjoy the sound of the stock dongle, but you want a more sturdy build, smaller form factor, better usability and slight improvement improvements in sound. On the other hand, if your device didn't include an adapter or you lost your standard Apple dongle, TC35i is one of the most interesting options currently on the market, as the price premium brings a much more robust build, more compact design and also small improvements in sound. Alright guys, that's all from me for today and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye.